Well, the weather, of course, causing travel delays at this hour. Take a look at this live image from FlightAware of our region right here. So there's the flooded roads we talked about, and then also delayed flights, and lots of them. ABC7 transportation reporter Sam Sweeney live right now at Reagan National Airport. Sam, how are the delays looking there right now? Allison, it is not a good day to be a flyer. Take a look at the boards here. You can see just cancellations and delays up and down. On these two boards alone, just three flights are going are coming in on time. It is just a mess out here for travelers, not just here at Reagan, but across the country. More than 1,500 cancellations today alone. So we went to find out what should you do if your flight is canceled? What should you do first? More than 3,000 flights around the nation canceled since Sunday, almost 20,000 delayed. Passengers like Diane Campbell left stranded. And I've been bumped for two days, so I'm just trying to make alternate plans. But it's really crazy. I haven't seen this happen before. Everything is like over, you know, overbooked, all the airlines. So what should you do when you get the first notification that your flight is canceled? Airline Weekly editor Seth Kaplan. Help the airline help you. Uh, you know, use alternative airports, for example. I mean, when, when your flight from Chicago to Reagan is canceled, nowadays the airline's going to do a pretty good job of automatically finding you the next seat from Chicago to Reagan. If you don't mind going to BWI or to Dulles, if it gets you home or at least near home a little bit more quickly, tell them that because they won't assume that. When it comes to weather, airlines aren't required to give compensation, but your credit card might be able to help you. It depends on what credit card you have. Uh, some cards, uh, particularly if they have a higher annual fee, do help you, maybe with a hotel room, for example. It, often it depends on the length of the delay. Kaplan's other best piece of advice, don't check bags if you don't have to. When you go over to a gate agent at, at the, you know, the flight going to LaGuardia instead of JFK and say, hey, can I hop on that flight? The first thing they're going to ask you sometimes is, did you check any bags? Because if you didn't, they might be able to let you run on. If they have to start pulling bags off one flight, that takes time. And another piece of advice, download the Airlines app. We are told by most of the airlines that you'll be able to change your seats, change your flights, all in their app without having to wait in line, either in person here at the airport or on the phone. I'm reporting live at Reagan National Airport, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC7 News. Okay, Sam, thank you. A lot of good advice there. And